The new sport of electric hydrofoils, or e-foils in short, are taking over the world of water sports. And today, we meet Jeremy, who is going to share with us his review of a new e-foil from GetFoil.com. Hello, my name is Jeremy, and welcome to beautiful Lake Powell. I'm here with you to share my experience, limited experience, with the foil e-foil, which you can find on GetFoil.com. I was born and raised here and been doing water sports since the age of three. However, I've never had any foil experience of any kind until a little more than a year ago when I purchased my first e-foil, the Waydo Flyer 1. So I will be comparing that to board with the foil. First, we have the battery here. It is a 40 pound extended range battery. I personally would rather go the distance than rather extend the time by buying more than one battery. This is the remote which attaches magnetically, charges wirelessly on this cradle dock on the side. So you'll never forget your remote. You'll never forget to charge your remote unless you forget to charge the whole thing. Allow me to show you the remote up close. It has a large, visible, bright, colorful screen. It is embedded in the remote, which should mitigate any damage to the screen. You'll also notice it only has one single multifunction button which is currently used for turning on, turning off, and unlocking the remote. There is no way to limit the speed, as you see with other remotes, with a plus and minus button, but I'm hoping in a future update that maybe that will be added. Potentially, they could add a single press, double press for plus and minus. The trigger has a nice range of motion, but when you have the ability to limit the speed, both for, for beginners or for experienced riders who prefer to ride at a more mellower speed, so you could set the speed limit to as low as 15. And the entire range of motion of the trigger will then be zero to 15 instead of zero to the maximum speed, which may be 25, 30, whatever it may be. So it effectively increases the range of motion in your acceleration when you have the ability to limit the speed. So fun little fact that I just discovered today about the remote for the foil brand e-foil is if you put it on your car, it will magnetize to the car. So it doesn't just magnetize to the battery for Qi wireless charging, it'll magnetize to any metal surface. So if you accidentally leave it on your car and you drive off, You'll probably still have it when you get home, but let's not do that. I personally really like the grip. It's gonna be a very subjective thing. It is a little wider than some, so those with smaller hands may find it a little large. Next up, we have the board. You'll notice right away that this board does not have any handles, which gives it a very nice clean look. If you're already used to having handles on your board, you may have to get a little creative and use other methods for carrying. You can put the mast over your shoulder, which some people do with or without handles. Also, as suggested by foil, I install my battery into the board after I put the board in the water. So first I carry the board down and then I install the battery. The foil board is a very stealthy standout board. It has these angles. But one thing about the angles is I personally feel that here in the hips is a little bit too wide. Shave some of this off, move it to the tip to give it a little bit wider nose and still maintain the surface area and buoyancy. I love the Mantis green to get anything other than white as an additional cost, but I just love the green. The bottom of the board is very flat and slick, glides effortlessly, however, I would prefer to have a little bit of a feature of V-hole as is seen on the Waydo. A V-hole makes landings more forgiving and breaks the water on the surface. The overall dimensions of the foil are very similar to Waydo. For example, the length of the board is nearly identical, but there are details that make the overall experience different enough that it took me about five rides to get used to foil. In its current state and wing setup, I would say that foil is not the most beginner friendly board, but is better for intermediate riders and up. Foil is extremely easy to assemble, almost as easy as Waydo. You have one single cable on the inside here. There's actually also a lot of extra space here for you to put a cell phone or other things. 
you have four bolts in the base of the mast, and then you have two bolts for the wing. Six bolts and one connection to the battery. Exactly the same as Waydo, but Waydo is instead of a cable, it's more plug to plug, which makes it just a little bit easier. Besides the absence of speed limiting functions on my first ride, the first thing that I noticed was the sound of operation. Foil is much louder than Waydo and higher pitch. However, Foil Company has already stated that they are working on changing the frequency of operation and will be updated in the pending app. Besides the app and future updates, in 2022, Foil has also teased and promised additional wings that will be available so that you can change the kick, the shoe at the bottom of your foil, because we all know that changing the wing will dramatically change the experience of the entire ride of the e-foil. I'm really excited to see what Foil has coming in the future. They have shown a lot of potential already, especially for a new brand. Here is the mast and I'm going to tilt it upside down so you can see how much water comes out. It's not a lot, but it happens every single time. I'm no engineer, but there is a hole here. I have a close-up picture of that. Hope it turns out well, it's pretty dark. And then there's a similar hole here on the bottom near the propeller. I believe this has something to do with the cooling system as well as a hole down the center of the mast here. And when I take the mast off, water flows out of this hole when I tilt it the other way, which I'll show you. Also, on the other side of the fuselage here, we have the, these are more um, channels rather than slits. They do not go all the way through. So I'll try and show a close up of that. But uh, even though they don't go all the way through, I'm sure this has something to do with cooling as well. Totally just guessing here, but it's only on that side. I am crossing my fingers and hopes for a speed limiting function in future updates as well. More wing options are also promised for 2022. Though foil is brand new, I am looking forward to the brand's potential. If you've been curious at all about the noise and splashing in the background, it's these guys over here to my left. And here you can see the rest of the scenery of Lake Powell, my favorite place on earth. In the last few days, my entire experience riding on foil has been on water conditions like this with hardly another soul out there. Makes for stunning experiences and beautiful ride, but your spatial awareness has to be on overdrive because when you're riding on a mirror like this, it's hard to tell how high you are above the water.